Good day. Welcome to our first ever lecture for the finals. Today, we will try to discuss the elements of film. Like elements of photography, elements of film, when combined together, make for a great film output. Film has five elements. Cinematography, storytelling or narrative, mise-en-scene, sound, and editing. For this particular meeting, we will focus on the first one, which is cinematography. Digital cinematography and computer-generated imagery have brought changes in cinematography which was traditionally based on chemical or photographic images and effects. Cinematography. Everything that has to do with cameras and lenses, with film or film stock, exposure, and processing of film digital. Elements of cinematography. We have two. The first one, composition of the frame and mobile framing. The second one, camera lens, lens and exposure choices and techniques. Under the first element of composition, composition of the frame, we have camera shots, camera angles, and camera movements. Camera shots. A camera shot is the amount of space that is seen in one shot or frame. Camera shots are used to demonstrate different aspects of a film setting, characters, and themes. As a result, camera shots are very important in shaping meaning in a film. Reviewing the examples. Uh, so, yeah. The first one is extreme long shot. Extreme long shot contains a large amount of landscape. It is often used at the beginning of a scene or a film to establish general location. This is also known as establishing shot. Long shot. A long shot contains landscape but gives the viewer a more specific idea of the setting. A long shot may show the viewers the building where the action will take place. Full shot. A full shot contains a complete view of the characters. From this shot, viewers can take in the costumes of characters and may also help to demonstrate the relationships between characters. Medium shot or mid shot. A mid shot contains the characters or a character from the waist up. From this shot, viewers can see the characters' faces more clearly as well as their interaction with other characters. This is also known as a social shot. Close-up shot. A close-up contains just one character's face. This enables viewers to understand the character's emotions and also allows them to feel empathy for the character. This is also known as a personal shot. Extreme close-up shot. An extreme close-up shot contains one part of the character's face or other object. This technique is quite common in horror films, particularly the example as seen later. This type of shot creates an intense mood and provides interaction between the audience and the viewer. So those are the few of the camera shots. Exa um, let's take a review before we move on to camera angles. We have extreme long shot, long shot, Full shot, medium shot, close-up shot, and extreme close-up shot. So before we move on to showing some examples of these particular shots, we'll just try to finish both angles and movements. So we can have a full uninterrupted example, a video example of the three types of composition shots. Going now to camera angles. Camera angles are used to, com to position the, the viewer so that they can understand the relationships between the characters. These are very important for shaping meaning in film as well as in other visual texts. The first one is bird's eye view. This is common with games like the first Grand Theft Auto or even close enough, um, it, can, it can also be considered, um, wait, I think it's Command and Conquer, yes. Command and Conquer, um, 
I think Diablo can be considered bird's eye view as well. So yeah, bird's eye view is an angle that looks directly down upon a scene. This angle is often used as an establishing angle along with an extreme long shot to establish setting. It's common in horror films. This type of shot creates an intense mood and provides interaction between the audience and the viewer. High angle. A high angle is a camera angle that looks down upon a subject. A character shot with a high angle will look vulnerable or small. These angles are often used to demonstrate the audience a perspective of a particular character. As a viewer, we can understand the double. Sorry. So some 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 of the parts here are derived from the original PowerPoint. So uh, I get to to delete this part. So please bear with me. Low angle. A low angle is a camera angle that looks up at the character. This is the opposite of high angle and makes a character look more powerful. This can make the audience feel vulnerable and small by looking up at the character. This can help the responder feel empathy if they are viewing the frame from another character's perspective. Eye level or eye level angle. An eye level angle puts the audience on an equal footing with the character or characters. This is the most commonly used angle in most films as it allows the viewers to feel comfortable with the character. Dutch angle. A Dutch angle is used to demonstrate the confusion of a character. Okay, so again, we have the following four camera angles. We have the bird's eye view, high angle, low angle, eye level, and Dutch angle. The last part.